There is a little known about the RFM analysis in e-commerce. However, when using it, you can get a clear vision about what's working and what's not in your e-commerce. Who are your most important customers and who's your ideal customer profile? Right now, you are losing a ton of opportunities because you are not using the RFM model. You don't know which are the most valuable customer segments. And according to RJ Metrics, after 24 months, 50% of the revenue is being generated by the returning customers of your e-commerce. RFM is your ally in the retention game. When you know your customers' buying behaviors, you are one step closer towards decoding their needs and their preferences. So it is a step closer to starting a meaningful conversation. I'm Valentin Radu, CEO of Omniconvert, the growth marketing platform for e-commerce websites aiming for data-driven growth. Today, I'm going to show you what RFM segmentation is and what you should do about it in order to grow your e-commerce. Keep watching! The RFM model has been around since the 70s! It allowed the direct mailing marketers to know things about their audience based on the recency, frequency, and monetary value. The first step in building an RFM model is to have a look at your own customer database and extract the historical data available for calculating the recency, frequency, and monetary values. Right now you have in your database a lot of one-night standers, a lot of Don Juans, but you also have true lovers or even your soulmates. But I'll tell you more about this a bit later in the video. You are so wrong if you think e-commerce is about a one-night stand. No, it's about generating constant emotions. It's about habit forming. It's about being data-driven and analyzing what's going on in the mind of your customers. This is why it's crucial to know your buyer persona through their buying behaviors. This can help you begin a relevant conversation, which may lead to a happy customer and a long-lasting relationship with a happy end, of course. How often have you asked yourself these questions? But how do you actually do this? You will get something like 555. A customer with 5 as a score for recency means the most recent customer. A customer with 5 for frequency means a customer which is in the group of the most frequent buyers. And a customer which gets 5 as a score for monetary value means a customer which is in the group of the most valuable customers, the ones that spend the most on your website. So mainly the segments are built like this. In terms of recency, you cut the whole database of customers into five different groups. Five means the best score. That means the most recent customers. One means the smallest score. That means the customers which bought long time ago. And two, three, four means you've got the picture. So in terms of monetary, you do the same. Five is for the group of customers that bought the most. One is for the group of customers that bought the least. And in terms of frequency, let's say the average customer uh, made 4.4 orders on your website, but five stands for the group of customers that placed more than 15 orders on your website. And one means the group of customers that placed only one order. In this manner, you can understand which are the most important champions in your database and which are the ones that you need to treat completely differently. Look at the RFM model as a maze. If you change one value from the equation, you are suddenly dealing with a new type of customer with a different buying behavior and different needs, so you need different marketing tactics to address him. Let's play a game. Ta -da! What you have here is a group of customers who bought from you a long time ago. They placed a few orders, but those orders were very valuable. What do you need to do here? You can't afford to lose these customers. Maybe write them a handwritten letter or give them a courtesy call asking about their experience 
and give them a special treatment to re-engage them. What about 515? These are customers that bought recently from you, only one time, but very expensive products. They have a lot of potential, so you need to treat them very, very, very carefully. So what can you do about these RFM segments? You have here the true lovers, you have the soulmates, you have the Don Juans or the, the one night standers. You have the about to lose customers. So you might want to do a brainstorming with your team and come up with benefits that you can give them throughout their buyer journey. So you can give them things like personal assistant, a handwritten note, or special discount codes or vouchers that allow them to install the habit form. Also, if you want to discover things about your buyer persona, like lifetime value, customer acquisition cost, or how to run cohort analysis, make sure you check out our OmniConvert plugin, especially built for Magento e-commerce platform. This extension empowers you to just push a button and automatically grab all the data around your true lovers and soulmates and everything that I've talked about before without you bothering with data and calculations. If you learned something useful from this video, let's have a long lasting relationship. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below what is the most actionable insight that you will be starting to implement as of tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.